What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a convenience good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at two cases from NTG I picked up using Amazon Prime for $11.99 and $13.99 respectively. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions. Like I said, we're going to be taking a look at two smartphone cases from NTG. We're going to be taking a look at a case for the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro. They fit the exact same case. And last but not least, we're going to be taking a look at a case for the iPhone SE 2020. So we have the bottom of Apple's iPhone lineup and pretty much the top of Apple's iPhone lineup with the 12 Pro here. Yeah, we're gonna see the quality of these cases, we're gonna see how well they fit the phone, and we're gonna see what features they have. The closest uh, similarity I can make to these cases is an OtterBox Commute case. I believe they have an outer plastic shell with a rubber outer sleeve, and you sort of put them together one after the other. It's been like this for a few years, and these cases look like they've been around for quite some time. They look like they have some style, but they're also rugged protective cases. So these will come in handy when I take them to work with me every day. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this unboxing and first impressions. So here you can see we have two cases by the company NTG. These are two separate boxes as you can tell. This is the front of the box obviously and this is the back of the box. Now one of these cases is the iPhone 12 Pro case and one of these cases is the iPhone SE case but I think you can pretty much see for yourself that these boxes are the exact same size and look exactly the same on the outside but as you can see at the bottom right hand corner on the back of the box is a sticker that lets you know which case is which. This one here is for the iPhone 12 Pro, 6.1 inch, which is the non-max model. I think we should get into the Pro case first. After all, it is the least expensive case here, which is the good news. So as you can see here, like I was saying earlier, it is a two-piece case. It is a rubber silicone sleeve that goes around the phone, and then it is a plastic piece that snaps on over top the rubber silicone piece. Cases have been designed for this for quite some time. Like I was saying, I think this compares uh, pretty closely to the OtterBox Commute case. Now I had just kind of glanced at this online and thought, wow, that's a sharp looking case. And that's the reason why, because it does, I think, take a little bit of inspiration from the OtterBox series. And as you can see, the NTG logo is actually at the bottom of the case very similar to what maybe OtterBox would do. But what I really like, as you can see, is you get a really nice protective cutout, and we'll go into that later, but you can pretty much see the rubber silicone piece underneath uh, poking out through the top of this plastic piece on the back here. So this should actually be really nice to hold and give it some really good grip, as well as some slide protection so it doesn't go sliding across the floor if you do drop your phone on the floor. And last but not least, what comes in the box are just a couple of pieces of paper here. We get on the right-hand side a 20% off coupon, thanks to NTG for buying the case. So if we do get another phone, which is likely, and since I'll be buying something that's likely going to be a Galaxy phone or an iPhone, chances are NTG will have a case for it. So having this 20% off coupon is nice. And then last but not least, we get a user guide. Now, just like I was saying before, it is a rubber silicone case with a hard plastic case that goes over top of it. And it pretty much shows you how to install it using a pretty clear and colorful diagram here. It's not hard to figure out. But more importantly here, it actually has a couple of questions and answers. One of the questions is, is this case compatible with a tempered glass screen protector? And the answer to that is yes. And last but not least, is this wireless charging compatible? And the answer to that is also yes. So you can definitely consult the user manual for questions like that if you have them. And what's really nice is at the bottom of the user manual on the right page or the second page is a help support email. Okay, so 
This case so far is actually pretty simple to take apart, but usually it's taking it off when it's already installed on your phone that's the hardest part, right? But as you can see here, here is the iPhone 12 Pro. Uh, it lines up perfectly. The cutout looks awesome. I don't see any quality control issues here. There's no stains or pulls or tears in the rubber whatsoever. So let's go ahead and just slide this in here. We're probably going to set off the ringer a couple of times just trying to get this snapped into place here. But it's really not all that hard. My only complaint is maybe that the plastic piece is a little bit too thin on the back. Now, even though this is a rugged case, and I think what makes it a rugged case is not only the fact that it's two layers of protection, but the fact that you get protection at the bottom of the display. Uh, most of the time when you, you know, buy a cheap and expensive case like this, one that's rugged and durable, uh, having two pieces sometimes doesn't really work out all that well. Sometimes the plastic over top, the rubber is just a little bit too loose or it's dangling in one area. Uh, the fact that this bumper goes all the way around the device really just gives it a complete wholesome look. And last, but definitely not least, is our NTG case for the iPhone SE 2020. This case is $13.99 compared to $11.99 for the iPhone 12 Pro Series case. Really quite fascinating that this is the more expensive case. Perhaps they are producing less of these because it's a less popular device and therefore the price is greater, or maybe the demand is higher because the iPhone SE is such a workhorse of a phone that people probably are buying them left and right and needing cases for them left and right. I think it could go pretty much either way, but I think one thing that's constant here is going to be the quality here. I think I was really taken aback actually by the quality of the iPhone 12 Pro case and seeing that this is pretty much exactly the same, uh, I have no doubts it's going to be excellent as well. As you can see, the design is actually exactly the same as the iPhone 12 Pro series case. Uh, you actually get a couple of grooves underneath the plastic here to hold onto the device. You get the NTG logo at the bottom. You do get a camera cutout with a rubber ring or lip around it to protect the lens. You get the exact same button layout. The only difference obviously is that the iPhone 12 has different buttons than the iPhone SE. And then of course you get the lock button on the side. And then at the bottom right hand side of the case is an area to pry the case apart just like on the iPhone 12 series case so you can actually take it off or put it on the phone which we are going to do now. Okay, so first thing is first, I absolutely love this mint green look on my iPhone SE. I think it looks fantastic, but they do have different colors. As you can see, I wouldn't recommend mint on top of red, but hey, you know, this is cool. I like this. I think the color looks great. I think it fits the phone perfectly, just like the iPhone 12 Pro case fit perfectly. This case also fits perfectly. Uh, I usually do recommend taking these cases off every once in a while and cleaning around your speaker and around your camera and around the buttons so that grime isn't building up inside your phone. Uh, dirt and sand can get in between these little cracks and crevices and grooves and cause a lot of damage actually, which is why I really do appreciate that they have this uh, little thumbnail area at the bottom so you can actually slip the case off and clean the device if you need to. So I would say that the major difference between these two cases, even though they are exactly the same, is the buttons are just a little bit mushier for the iPhone 8 series or the iPhone SE series. Uh, as where on the iPhone 12 Pro, the button to lock it and unlock it and uh, turn the volume up and down is really clicky. It's much more tactile and responsive than the iPhone SE case. 
Uh, just to give you a closer look, you can see that they are exactly the same. They are pretty much the exact same thickness. I would say that there is a slight difference in design just with some of the character lines here and there. But then again, these phones are different dimensions all the way around. They are probably five generations apart actually if you really think about it because the iPhone 8 came out roughly five years ago and the iPhone 12 Pro came out just last year. So yeah, definitely a big difference between the two, but I think NTG did a really great job of uh, designing a case for this legacy device and then sort of building on top of it with the iPhone 12 Pro lineup. Anyways, guys, that has been an unboxing and a first impressions of the NTG iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro case and iPhone SE 2020 case for $1,199 and $1,399 respectively. These cases come in a variety of colors. As you can see, I have this teal color for the iPhone SE and then a much more conservative pro all black color for the iPhone 12 Pro. Uh, the fit and finish, like I said, is truly amazing. Usually with a two-piece case like this, one that is rugged that you're relying on for protection, I would not recommend a case this inexpensive, but after having seen the fit and finish, even though the plastic on the back is kind of thin and lightweight and not as thick or heavy duty as some other brands, you're still going to be extremely satisfied. There are no loose ends here. There are no missing pieces. Everything, even though it's snapped together relatively easy and without much effort, uh, I think you can pretty much uh, throw this in your pocket or your gym bag or your backpack or take it to work and not have to worry about dropping it and breaking the screen or scratching the screen or scratching one of the cameras on the back. There are really awesome protective features. Anyways guys, that is going to do it for this unboxing and first impressions. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe, also hit the bell icon so you can get notified when I post videos to YouTube. And last but not least, share this video with friends and family and tell them we review things from Walmart and Target and Amazon, as well as other stores. My name is John. Thank you again so much for tuning in. I hope to see you in the next video. My name is John.